So in this problem, we are given a universe of the numbers 1 through 10, and we're given three sets. And from that, we want to find the following. In parentheses, A union B, and then intersect that with C complement. So as with any arithmetic problem, we are going to start with the grouping symbols. So first, we are going to go and we are going to find A union B. Remember the union is uh, everything that is contained in either set A or B and so we're going to create that list. So looking up at the top here is set A, here is set B and so the union is going to be the numbers 1 and then 2 is in set A uh, 3 is in both sets. You don't have to list them twice. Then we have 6 then we have 7, and then we have 8. So that is A union B. Then I also need to find C complement. Now remember the complement is everything that is outside of set C, meaning everything in the universe that is not in set C. So set C is 1, 3, and 4. So looking to our universe of 1 through 10, I'm not going to include 1 or 3 or 4. So the complement of C is now everything else, meaning 2 and 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And so my problem that I am asked to do now is I am asked to take a union B, so the first set I constructed, we're going to intersect that with the complement of C. And remember the intersection is what is common to both sets. So looking for what's common, I have the number 2 in common, I have the number 6 in common, we have 7 in common, and then finally we have 8 in common. And so that is the answer to the following problem. A second problem that I want to do is if I'm given these two sets uh, in the universe of 1 through 8, I want to construct a Venn diagram to represent the sets. So here we go. A uh, Venn diagram is just a big rectangle to represent our universe. So I'm just going to write U for universe here. Everything that is in the universe should be represented in this rectangle. I'm going to draw a circle for set A. I'm going to label it A. And then I'm going to do a circle for set B. So here we go. I'm going to go through every element of the universe. The first element of the universe is 1, and I notice that 1 is in both set A and set B. It's right here. And so that means 1 is in the intersection, so I'm going to draw number 1 right there. The next element of the universe is 2. 2 is only in set A, so I'm going to put 2 right here. The next element is 3. 3 is in both sets A and B again, so it as well is in the intersection. Then the element 4. 4 is in neither A nor B, but it's still in the universe, so I'm going to put the, the number 4 outside. Continuing on, uh, the element 5. 5 again is in neither A nor B, so I'm going to put a 5 right here. And then 6, 6 is only in B. And then 7 is also only in B. And then finally 8. 8 is again in the intersection, and so I'm going to put 8 right here. So from this diagram, I want to add something to the other videos that you watched for this section. I want to do the number of elements, that's what the N means, the number of elements in A union B. Now notice A, the number of elements in A is 4, and the number of elements in B is 5. So we would te be tempted to say that the number of elements in A union B would be 9 because 4 plus 5 is 9. But notice in my circles when I'm looking at the picture I only have uh, 6 elements in A union B. I have the element 2 and I have the element 1 and 3 and 8 and 7 and 6. 
And what accounts for that difference, as you can see, are the three elements that I would double count. One, three, and eight are both in A and in B. So the way we calculate this is we take the number of elements in A, we add to it the number of elements in B, and then we subtract the elements that we've double counted, meaning those elements that are in the intersection. So there are four elements in A, there are five elements in B, and then there are three elements we double counted, which gives me the value 6, with, which agrees with the picture that I see.